Finally, a good omen. <laughs> Good afternoon, morning. Welcome to Turbo Tortoise Tech. If you're new here, I'm Reese of the Four Piece Variety of Walker Tropical Excel. I will not apologize for that dad joke. You're just going to take it and leave. Because this 27S is a really, really good starting point from HP Omen. Uh, constructionally, it's very good. The panel is very good. Uh, it's very simple and straightforward with a couple of added features that I really wasn't expecting. Um, but yeah, 240 hertz, 1080p IPS, 1 millisecond response time. It's a recipe for success, especially for people that are very serious about FPS or mobile gaming. Anywho, let's go through what's in the box because you get a proper nice kettle plug. You get a USB 3, the full fat variant for pass through so that you can get full power USB 3 because there's two ports outputting from that. And then a really nice display cable complete with clippies. So it's going to clip into your GPU and your and the monitor and then never go anywhere. The base stand is full aluminum. It's very noticeably full aluminum. It's just the cover on top is plastic. Um, and that's about the extent of the plastic besides like the framing of the monitor. This neck is the strongest, most overkill neck I've ever experienced. It's so strong. <laughs> It actually makes it like quite heavy. They've got plastic uh, surrounding it, but the entire inside area has to be metal because it weighs like 12 tons. Uh, and I would, if someone broke into my house, this is the first thing I would go to for self-defense because it's basically like an axe handle. Around the back, you'll very much notice the massive light beam that's all around the outside. Very nicely diffused, very bright, good colors on it as well. Uh, very, very, very good. And a nice plate to just cover up the vase amount sort of area as well. And leave it looking quite sleek. And then on the left hand side, you're going to notice the omen as well as the controls. Then it's got like a sunken joystick type setup and the power button is right next to that. Uh, yes, I did bump it once or twice when I was first uh, learning to use the monitor. But this neck and the amount of tilt and travel you get over here cannot be understated. So we can go from about there to about there. It's about 15 centimeters worth of travel. And then it still tilts up like really, really far. And then it can tilt forward and actually sit over the top of you at its absolute maximum. It, the forward tilt is probably two or three degrees, um, but the rear tilt is actually quite significant. I'd say it's about 20, probably 18-ish to that kind of um, area. So it's got a lot of tilt built into it and a lot of travel. So you're going to be able to get a properly good viewing angle regardless of how you're sitting or how tall you are or how short you are which is very nice you won't need to put this on any books or anything like that to get the proper viewing angle uh, it does also then rotate it, it can do a portrait mode you do have to uh, just tilt it out slightly if I can just get it to behave there for a second you can go full portrait mode as well so it's and then obviously come back to like dead square center so and i don't think you'll use it in full portrait mode but it's a nice to have maybe down the line you'll turn this into like a screen to read your chat off of if you're a stream or something to that effect um, but it does have quite a good color gamut so maybe in the design realm so yeah constructionally pretty good osd as well having a look at that it's got the default functions that i like to see black light equalizer as an example is one of the things that you can control over there the response time of the panel you can draw fps on the monitor if you really want to but it's 240 hertz with g-sync um yeah it's i would say that's uh, uh not going to be your issue um when you are playing lower frame rate games the g-sync is really nice it still uh works until about 60 fps and if it drops below that then it does get a little bit choppy um g-sync is like what are you doing mate where's my frames to deal with the to deal with the problem on very high frame rates as well like counter-strike uh, it is pretty good um yeah uh, 240 hertz and as our daily drive in alienware 240 hertz of basically the exact same spec what was very noticeable to me however was two things with this panel one is it's a little bit warmer than i'm used to on the color palette i would actually decrease the red by about 10 or 15 points to make it sort of 
flat in its color reproduction. They have given it a 95% DCI-P3 rating and it does have HDR400. I did try the HDR on some HDR content, our Costa Rica 4K test, but it honestly looked better without it and um, you don't get many tuning options if you do enable HDR on the monitor. I'm sure with better HDR content, it will probably perform better. So it's got all of the default checkboxes and the first time I ran into this kind of setup was on the Acer XB3. Um, I do feel that this, however, is also like that somehow sharper than normal. The 1080p on this felt more like a 1.5K res than full 2K, like 1440p resolution, um, but it felt more in between than it was just 1080p. It felt a lot sharper than my Alienware. And I was like, I don't know how they've done that. But it's kind of good and when you play fps games and i played a lot of tarkov on this uh, and did a full wukon stream off of this it was really good like really good color reproduction as i say fantastic if not just a little bit warm it did have like a, you know movie mexico filter feeling over the front of it uh, and when i was using it and that leads us to really the elephant in the room though this panel only comes with a one-year warranty from from hp omen which is you know, a third of industry standard, uh, that kind of perplexed me as a starting point. And then secondarily is the price. It's just a little bit expensive for what it is. It just doesn't have enough feature set in it to demand a price of nine and a half thousand Rand, which is what it's coming through on EVTEC right now. Um, there's 2K 240 Hertz panels that cost like two grand more than this. So, and that's going to be, you know, significantly more bandwidth and so you would expect it to cost significantly more but it just doesn't and other 2k or other 1080p 240 hertz panels are like seven and come with a three-year warranty so it's really hard to justify the price the product itself is exceptional though the only two things i would change is just make a hole on the bottom of the stand here to get the channeling a little bit better and then fix the warmth on the color palette. It does, however, also have speakers built into it, which is a nice touch. And with HDMI 2.0, it is going to be able to work on consoles. There's a little cutout on both sides on the left and the right edge of the panel where you're going to get some audio coming through. It's not fantastic. It's nothing like to write home about. I would probably see you using the audio pass through. If we look at the ports quickly, you'll see that it's got two HDMI's, a display port, and then that USB with the two pass throughs, and then an audio pass through. So you can audio jack straight into the monitor, and you'll probably use that more than the monitor speakers. If you, in a pinch, and you need to just listen back to something like someone speaking about something off of YouTube or something to that effect, it will be fine, but it's not really an uber multimedia sort of setup. So in conclusion, looking at the package holistically, it's just outpriced. That's really my only problem with it. Even if it was the same price as the others in market, or even 500 and more than the ones that don't have HDR and don't have speakers, then you could justify the value. The one year warranty, I can't see helping it either. I really think HP needs to move quick fast to up this to a three year warranty. I like the frame. It's very simple and straightforward, incredibly well built, super nicely finished. It doesn't need to be any fancier or flashier than it is in that respect. The nice little thin chin with the very slim borders, it's excellent. Build quality, performance wise, everything. I was super happy with it. And then I just saw the price and I was like, why HP? We're so close. It's such a good first outing from them though. It's very rare that a brand new monitor comes out of the gate and is like this good. So yeah, you're at like 95% of perfection. As I say, literally just a little hole. And uh, the as far as the product goes constructionally, just a little hole at the bottom of here for us to do some cable channeling and then decrease the warmth on the panel and you're there. It's, and it, like I say, it is spookily somehow sharper than the others. Anywho, this is all I've got for you on the Omen 27S from HP. If you have enjoyed this review, please hit us up with a like and subscribe and I will see you on the flip side. <laughs> and I will see you <laughs> on the flip side.